and through my art studio so this is the place where I create all my work so I thought I'd give you a little look and see what goes on here all right so here it is in a nutshell this is my art studio really nice light that comes in here I've got an abundance of light actually I've got this great desk that I'm really happy with I've got some of my artworks up on my wall um if you can see here this is an orgasm catcher in the middle and i just love it some of my prints i've got my acrylic paints printer scanner books that i use for inspiration and over here i have um, my storage for all my pencils you see here all my my paint brushes I like to burn some frankincense or white sage. I just find that it um, really brings me into a beautiful, peaceful kind of space to begin with um, before I start my art making sessions. And over here, yeah, this is my, my desk. So I have a ring light that I use um, to light up my artworks. I just find that it's better uh, because it doesn't actually put any shadow. I've got um, a bunch of books that I'm into there. Womb Wisdom, I'm about to start the Kick-Ass kick -ass Creativity and Moon Rides. Um, just some good stuff going on. My beautiful big screen iMac. I'm so excited about that. This is my easel that I paint on. And yeah, a couple of artworks. So maybe I'll show you a couple of artworks that I've been working on. To start with, I've been doing this iris painting. Um, I've recently finished it. So I'm actually doing this one for some licensing, hoping to get some uh, irises on some products. I just, yeah, I really love how this worked out. I think it's just really beautiful. So I'm excited to do some more of them. This is a commission piece I've been working on and it's for a, um, a doula or a midwife, I think. Um, she loved Australian flowers, native flowers, and in particular the uh, flannel flower, pink flannel flower, which I have here. And pink flannel flower is actually native to where I grew up in the Blue Mountains, New South Wales. So I was really stoked to be um, doing some of them. We've got some of the pink gums here and of course her beautiful Yoni in the middle. So I'm about to send this one off to see um, if they're happy with it or if they'd like me to make any changes, uh, anything like that. So I always do that when I'm doing a commission. I will make sure that the client's happy with the work first uh, before I actually post it to them. And here's another little one. This is something different that I was be I have been doing. It's a moth and some irises and I've got in lots of gold and I've just been doing bubbles and squirrels and yeah having a lot of fun with that. Again another one that's mostly finished but maybe not quite yet. I kind of have a few going at the same time because I find it helps me be able to um, prevent myself from overworking a particular piece. So yeah, this is what I've been working on, a little peep show into my studio and um, a little look around at my creative space. I have pictures here for inspiration, my desks, and again, my beautiful puppies, which may be some of the most spoilt, lucky puppies in the universe. And just before you go, I might show you this one down here actually. This is one I had been working on a little while ago. I wasn't sure about it, so I stopped working on it because again, I thought, oh, it's starting to get overworked. But yeah, maybe it's uh, maybe it's ready to actually go out into the world. Um, I might hang this on my wall. I might actually sell it. I don't normally sell my originals, just prints, but yeah, I'm having a feeling that maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll, I'll let this one go to somewhere where it'll be... Um, I really appreciate it. So there we go, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. And next time I might talk you through some of my favorite books. 
got lots over here, lots of my inspirations. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.